everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. So we're working on our Duramax. We're actually got it inside. Since our forklift is up and running, that was so much easier. I remember last time trying to manhandle that thing, it was definitely a pain in the butt, but it's really nice that we're inside, out of the elements, and now I can start taking this thing apart. The game plan is to get the doors off, get the main seats out so I can see what's going on the inside, and then getting ready to swap it over to our burnt one, which isn't burnt anymore since we got it all painted and sealed, so it's looking good. So obviously a lot of progress from moving forward, but let's just jump right into it and get it done. All right, guys, so before I go out the doors, our windshield guy is actually here, Ed's Auto Glass, so he's gonna remove this broken glass and get it out of the way so I don't cut myself getting that dash out later. So, hey, that's awesome. Get this out of the way, knock it out. He's got the right tools for the job. He'll get it done a lot faster than I can. So I'll let him go ahead and knock that out, then it'll be a close, step closer to getting all the other parts out. It's gonna be a pain in the butt because it's bent pretty good. But we call it the pros. Alright guys, I'm going to work on my doors, go ahead and get this one off, it's jammed, so I'm going to go ahead and unbolt it first and hopefully that'll get it free and then I'll get it off because I ain't going nowhere right now, but yeah, we'll see, hopefully that comes off easy. Alright guys, so it doesn't look like brute force is going to get this door open. I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and try to get to that lock behind it. Maybe it got pinched when it got hit right there or something. So let's get the grinder and get it off. Okay, step one, cut out lock, did it, got that off. Let's go ahead and get this door open. And just like that, it opens. So I guess since it was pinched, it wasn't really acting properly, but if you, yeah, if you just pull that right there, came right off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and swing it over and then get that other bolt off. And just like that, the door is off. Yay, that wasn't so bad. 
Nice. Let's keep going and get the other ones off. This side should be a lot easier because I could open the doors and that's a lot easier to get the bolts off. Let's go ahead and first get the plugs, a little connector thing, and get the hinges off. First thing you want to do, make sure you don't break your connector. So get that off right there. And then in the inside, just a number 10 right there. And then you get your hinges off, not a big deal. Let's get it done. And that was very easy, a lot simpler than the other side that was jammed up. But man, that is looking good. We got a cab on the floor with no doors. Nice. Look at all those great parts. Doesn't look so bad from over here, this point of view. I think my next step would be to take off the seats and their power, so that's never gonna be fun, but hopefully I'll be able to get to it. Oh boy. Well, that was probably the easiest chair because it was mechanical. On bolts, one clip, good to go. The other side, like I said, not so easy because of no power to it. I'm have to put a jump box and just try to jump it up and forward. We'll see how that works out because that's a big old clip. Great. That was gonna be fun. See what happens. All right, guys, believe it or not, but we put a bunch of power to the fuse box itself, some jumper cables for some more power, and we got power inside. Well, we had power. Oh, look at that. Seat is moving. That is awesome. Nice. And just like that, I could see my bolts. Great. Got it going. Okay, for these back seats, sometimes they could be a pain in the butt, so I watched the YouTube video, and this one is a pain. There's definitely these little weird hooks in the back that are hard to get to. Um, so yeah, definitely watch some YouTube videos. There's a lot of great content out there to get these off. So I'm just gonna watch it and try to figure it out myself. Alright guys, there we go. So luckily my back glass is broken so I was able to come in from this side but unfortunately there's not one but two but three special hooks back there that hold this bar. See that little orange tab? Sorry the lighting. Yeah that orange tab. There's like these little clamps that hold it and you have to pull up on them. Pain in the butt. <laughs> Just a pain. But I got it. So that shouldn't be too bad. Now to get this go forward man they couldn't put like a little pin you could pull up or something nothing yeah it was it was rough I was struggling for a while there but I got it let's move forward let's get these things unbolted and get them out
All right, guys, looking really good. But before I go on, I got some new parts that came in for my front or the engine, so my serpentine belt. Let's go ahead and install that and get it on there so I don't lose those parts. It'd be great. All right, guys, so I actually have my old belt right here. It's about five ribs, I guess, and this thing is long. I mean, that is definitely the biggest belt I've ever seen. It's huge. Yeah, so check it out on the engine itself. Probably just pick this whole thing up with it. So that goes on there somehow. Big old belt, but good thing I got a little diagram to show me what's going on. So obviously it's gonna be a lot easier to do now since I don't have anything in the way. There's no fan, there's no cap, there's plenty of room. So it'll be a lot easier to do it now, make sure everything's right. So let's go ahead and get that belt on there. And after that, I can get my secondary belt on. Let's get it done. Pretty easy, not too bad. Like I said, everything's out of the way, so makes working on it real nice. I can't imagine getting that from underneath or around and stuff. Let's work on our other belt now. Like I said, I gotta mount that bracket first, another tensioner, and the other one should be real simple. There we go guys, moving forward. Honestly, that's a lot of progress because I didn't miss any of the pulleys and the things are going back to the way they should be. It's nice to test it with the belt and that front one, ooh, that's really nice. Dang, I'm really happy with it. Yeah, turning out great. Moving forward, like I said, progress. Nice. All right guys, so the front of the engine is looking pretty good. Got that serpentine belt on. And let's just look at this. I mean, honestly, so many great parts that we have here. It's looking really good, moving forward on it. But we're probably gonna have to order some things anyway, like, maybe soundproofing material or something for our cab itself before I put all these great parts in there. Uh, there's probably some other things that we need. Read some comments below what you think we should do. Get a cool amp in the back or something, maybe a nice sound system since we have it all apart anyway. That'd be kind of neat. I mean, we're going at it, you know, putting a lot of time and effort into this thing for sure, but let us know what you guys think about it, about this build. I mean, can we just take it apart all together, just like a solid piece dash, probably do some research on that. I probably need to get organized before I lose things because I'm taking things apart right now, putting it on the side, but I'm gonna have to put it back together eventually. So I might have to buy some Ziploc bags or something, some boxes to store all these parts inside. But honestly, I feel like, you know, moving forward, hopefully we'll take everything apart. I'm just really excited to put stuff together soon. Hopefully that will be soon. Like I said, this thing is looking better already. I mean, also apart. we ordered the cab lights on yeah. top of the roof because on ours doesn't have it. So we got the original ones from the dealer coming because we got those holes in the roof on our painted cab. Right. So this, was, this is just like a antenna or something or for the I GPS? GPS, GPS or shark the fin XM something. radio maybe. Maybe, yeah. New. But hopefully this headliner is going to get to Michael too. Hopefully. We're going to try to save everything. We're going to try to save all my parts on here. So this is definitely the donor truck. But this is the brains too. So all the fuse box, electrical, I mean the computers are all going to come off this guy. So. so if something doesn't work, I know who to call. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna see. It gets a little tricky because even in the back, I found some plugs that are already unplugged and nothing goes there. And that's a bad sign because later when I'm putting things together and there's a plug, it's like, oh man, I gotta find something. So I might put some tape on it or something saying, hey, dead plug. So I know that I don't have to waste time trying to find where that plug goes into. Yeah. But also, we're thinking good. about redoing the seats, right, Michael? Yeah, we might as well since these are cloth seats. I was taking them out. They're really good condition, 2021, low miles, but be really nice to get some kind of leather seats on there. I heard there's covers that you could take off your old cloth and actually put legit leather seats on them too. So we might do some research, get that going. I don't I mean, know. What, what color should we go with? Since it's red, should we do like a red accent for the seats or just all black? I mean, honestly, I like black. It's just nice, keep it simple. But maybe, I don't know, leave a comment below, guys. What do you think? Should we go for a custom color, some custom seat covers, some custom seats all together? I don't know. Get some racing seats in there? That'd be kind of cool, for but sure. It won't have the heated seats, so. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just happy those seats came out. Like, that was pretty awesome. We got power to it somehow, <laughs> and it's moving, so we do know it's working. So that's pretty, pretty good. But it's looking pretty good. 
But that's all the time we have for this episode, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. We're gonna knock this build out. We're gonna get it together. You and know? also comment down below, you guys. You want to see the boat and the. The beetle, you know? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Love your feedback, you guys. I'm learning a lot that it's not a bug, it's a beetle, and learning a lot about these things. So the boat's pretty cool, good name brand too. Good, I'm happy about that, because we already bought it. So I'm happy to know that we have a good one. But thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.